Sometimes I feel like the reason why we have so many luxuries is because of lazy people. This bed, for example, someone went, I don't want to sit up by myself. I want the bed to do it for me. And here we are. <laughs> Of course, there's like a limit of how lazy you can be. And personally, I don't think you can really judge other people on whether they're lazy or not. You have to decide that on your own because when you're lazy, you know it. You see, laziness is about working smarter, not harder. So technically, I'm a yep. genius. <laughs> <laughs> Go to your bed. Lay down. Stay there. Growing up, I had a lot of people tell me that I'm really lazy. And I believed them because I was showing signs of everything a lazy person would do or technically not do. Like I wasn't doing my homework. I wasn't cleaning my room. I would say I would do something and then never do it. But turns out, I just have anxiety. That's what. I wish during the time when I was growing up, an adult in my life actually saw that, oh, she's not lazy. There's something going on with her. But no, no, nobody did that because mental health wasn't a big thing back then, especially within immigrant families. A lot of what I was taught was, why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? If you feel sad, do something about it. If you feel scared, do something about it. And when you're not able to, you're automatically labeled lazy and stupid. But now as an adult, I'm like, who are you to say anything about me? You're not me. You're not with me 24 seven. So what gives you the right to say who I am and what I am? I know this sounds like, oh yeah, of course, you know, you should do you all the time. But the anxiety inside, it's really hard to overcome without the proper tools and support. Because once I started to surround myself with people who genuinely just love me and think I'm amazing, I started to believe, you know what? I I am amazing. And I'm not just saying that, I mean it to the bottom of every inch of my core. I, for some reason, my core is here. Look at, look at this table though. Pick it up from here. You put this thing in here and then, ta-da! seed. You're supposed to be seedless. Get out of here. It's sour but sweet at the same time. I think the hardest part about having that anxiety and thinking that it was laziness, now whenever I want to enjoy myself, it's pretty freaking hard. For example, if I wanted to just sit and read a book for like two hours, my head would be like, 
You're doing nothing but sitting here for two hours. You should be doing something productive. The anxiety starts to eat me up. And then I'm like, well, I don't deserve to do any of this unless I do this, this, and this first. When I went to therapy, this was probably the biggest issues that I had. I feel like I've come a really long way of realizing that I'm not lazy. And if I can go back in time and talk to my teenage self, I would tell her that the people in your life who truly care about you won't judge you. They're just gonna love you for who you are. And the people who do judge you, they're not gonna be there for the long term. So you don't even have to worry about what they say. God, this is so yep. good. Oh my. <laughs> you know what I feel like doing right now? Watching some Parks and Rec.